everyone welcome to my channel so today i am going to show you a trick for getting your dynamics 365 crm access token directly from your browser and this token you can use for uh, performing curl operation from postman and basically i can say it is only for the testing so we need to follow the regular process app registration in azure portal then from that we will get client id and secret id this is only i'm showing to just uh, for testing so let's get started also this access token is basically a key allow us to communicate securely with dynamics 365 crm through apis or external tools like postman okay so here i have multiple environment first is the dev second is stage and last is we have msft default environment as you can see over here now let's go to the next tab and let's first clear the browser cache for that we need to go over here and click on delete browser data and from that we will get and setting that delete browser data and we can select over here time range i have selected all time and click on download history cookies and cache image and files and click on clear now after that you will have to close this other tabs as well and again we need to log in so just type make.powerapps.com and over here we will find the screen here we'll put our credential and click on sign in click on s So now basically what will happen it will by default redirect to us in a default environment that is msft which i have shown you just now as you can see over here we redirect to msft default environment now after this we need to open the dev tool that you can simply go to here and you can click on more tools inside more tools uh, here you can see these more tools right okay in more tools here you will find developer tools and this developer tool will open now in this developer tool let me adjust screen here and let me go to the network tab maybe it is loading okay now we are getting results okay here we need to search for token just type token that's it now minimize this or uh, let me adjust the screen here okay fine now i have given a token over here and just over here i will switch from default environment to my environment that is the dev environment over here you can see so as soon as i do this switch from msft to dev it will validate and it will produce a record over here a token in dev tool as you can see over here now in the response you will get or in the preview you will get and a property of access token and this is the access token which you can use 
postman to perform curd operation simply you can copy it and paste in postman copy value then go to postman then over here in authorization we will select barrier token and here i will paste the token now i need to provide a url a web api url from which i have to perform the uh, curd operation so here i will paste a url yeah so as you can see over here i need to provide my org url so for org url let's go to our crm okay now here let me open my app on which i am working so i just need a environment url there are multiple ways from where you can get it so from here you can see that is my url environment url so i will copy it and i will paste this in postman over here as you can see in account i have only 11 rows so now here i will post that url and let me try to hit the send button and okay i found one error because in url i have added two times https so i need to correct it so let me remove this one okay now i will send it okay now i am getting 200 so that is successful so now i am getting a data over here so as you can see through that access token we can manipulate data or we can get the data now i have selected the get method over here that's why i'm getting this result in this uh, tab same way we can perform other uh, method as well now let me show you I will change the method over and select post here in body let me add some record information as you can see over here name new account and all I have added and I have sent it so I'm getting this 204 check in CRM that this account record is created or not okay now over here you can see i have 11 rows and i have not re refreshed so i will try to refresh and as you can see after refresh i can see 12 rows that means new record just created this second record would be the another one so let me filter it out with a record which are the created today let me add a condition over here that created on today click on apply okay so as you can see the new record is which we have sent from the postman it is created over here that's how you can perform multiple uh, methods from postman that will reflect in CRM so now let me try with delete so click on send okay for delete we need ID of that record that we will add in this um, after the accounts in URL so for ID let me go to CRM and here i need to add bracket let me go to crm 
from CRM, we will get the ID over here. That ID is present. Let me copy it. and let me paste over here ok now click on send ok i got 204 no content i will go to crm and try to refresh this record will not be available i guess yeah the record is not available because it is deleted from postman i have sent those requests ok so that's how we can use these access token for getting a data or we can do some manipulation also directly we can go over here and we can copy as c url so this curl we can use whenever we want in postman so we need don't need to do those steps which i have shown earlier like going to the default environment and all you can come over here and just paste that curl and you can give some name that request i will say i will give a name as token and i will click on import the collection so now i think directly whenever i am sending and the method is post whenever i'm click on send i will directly get over here that access token in body see okay as you can see the access token i am receiving over here keep in mind this token may have a short lifespan also this approach is for quick testing or debugging scenarios for production environment it is still recommended to register an app in azure for long term security and stability and that's all the steps we can do for getting an access token and do some manipulation from postman so this method can be a huge time savior you are if you are testing a api or just need a quick proof of concept and that's how you can do all those things okay and if you found this tutorial helpful so please uh, don't forget to like and share subscribe for more dynamic 360 crm videos and power platform tips mm -hmm.